at Gearhead's Jeff with Gear Report here at SHOT Show 2017, and we have snuck away to a secret location to show you something that's not going to be on the market for a few months. Um, probably somewhere in the beginning of Q3, you will see the beginning of consumer availability of the Skelly X11. Okay, X11 is a five-year project that has had 11 different iterations of this rifle to get to the point that they're like, all right, we think we have a winner. We're about to go to market with this. We wanted to show it to you first because it's got some kind of neat features. We've got a side folding stock, so we like the compact nature here. It is truly fully ambidextrous, and by that I mean we have the safety on each side. We've got a mag release on each side. We have the uh, charging handle can be put on either side. Okay, uh, this is running an AR-15 bolt in a proprietary bolt carrier group that rides on a couple of steel rails inside. It's running a short stroke gas piston system up front. So some proven technology uh, at work here. Um, really neat thing that you may or may not be able to see down in here. The barrel nut has um, little, not knurling, but little uh, indentations around it. Uh, the interface with this little pin in the bottom, what that lets you do is when you pull it out, then you can unscrew it, okay? And then uh, when you tighten it in, you're, you're going to uh, tighten it by hand. It's gonna index on each of those little grooves with this pin and hold it in place. If you're just going to shoot the range, uh, you know, blow through some ammo, uh, you can actually change by hand from, uh, right here we have uh, 223, 556, uh, there will also be 300 Blackout, 65 Grendel, and the 68 SPC2. So, four different caliber changes, all using your know, standard AR mag. Pretty cool system here. If you want to uh, torque it down a little bit better for a little better accuracy, they're going to have a, a tool that interfaces with this barrel nut to make that a little bit easier. You can see it's wearing an OSS suppressor. We like those, they're pretty cool. So, um, I don't think it's going to come like that from the factory, but you can go get one. There are a couple other cool things here, but uh, I'm going to wait until they get out to market. But it makes me sad. I got to tell you, it makes me sad. I'm looking at the, the only two working prototypes right now, and I'm told that shortly after SHOT Show, these are going to go through a torture test routine that's probably going to result in them being broken. So I want to say farewell. It's been nice knowing you. I look forward to seeing your younger siblings here in a few months. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna keep in contact with Skelly and uh, see if we can work out getting our hands on these as they get closer to hitting the market. We'll let you know how that progresses, and until then, we'll see you at the range.